It's time for the highlights of round 7 of the Blancpain Sprint Series from Sukuba. Grant Morrison grubs his first pole of the series with a 52.76 ahead of Matt Cooper, Rod Savage, Doug Savage and Ben Lundgren. It's a very quiet grid this time as we get ready for the start. Just the five cars on the grid this time and we're just waiting for the lights to go green and there it goes. Looks like uh, Doug Savage was a little bit slow on the mark. But uh, it's a fair fight into the first turn. Looks like Matt Cooper might just grab it. No, the back end has come round. Locked brakes. And uh, hands are back to Grant Morrison, the pole sitter. Rod Savage will grab second place ahead of now Bench Lundgren, who has managed to grab third. And he'll have a bit of an angry uh, Matt Cooper in the Audi right behind him. He'll be fair kicking himself. After almost grabbing the lead, he now finds himself back in fourth place. And there's our race leader, Grant Morrison. He uh, has already opened quite a sizable gap. That's... Uh, doing fairly easy and I dare say it's only half a gap. Oh, look at the big dive from the Audi there on Bench Lundgren. Matt Cooper really wants that place ahead of the BMW and uh, it's now going to be a drag race down the back straight and looks like the Audi's got a uh, little bit better traction out of the turn and they're heading to the final final turn and coming across the line will be Grant Morrison in first place, Rod Savage in the Aston Martin in second. It'll be Matt Cooper, Bench Lundgren and Doug Savage rounding out our top five. Here's Benj Lundgren racing around in fourth place now. He's got uh, Doug Savage in the Mercedes not too far behind. So heading to the first turn. A bit of a locked brake from Benj and a locked brake from Doug too. Uh, so uh, that might close things up between them. A little bit wobbly there on the exit for uh, for Benj Lundgren in the BMW. And they come down to the tight left hand. Look at that. Doug is right there. I think he's sniffing a, a bit of a fourth place there. Could be very interesting later in the race. And now Matt Cooper is closed right up on Rod Savage. And I dare say that this track does not suit the Aston Martin very much. It would be more like a, a suitable track for the Audi and also the McLaren, where uh, they're a little bit more nimble than the big old V12. Oh, Matt Cooper has a big look down the inside. I think he was just fainting to the left there. Sorry, to the right, just to uh, have a bit of a look. And he tries it again the next lap, but uh, he's got to get a bit closer if he wants to try that move. He's got to get, try and get up the inside, not just uh, get a, catch a gulp of fresh air into the intakes. As they head down to the head down the back straight, he's had a bit of a go at the draft there, and he's, he's fairly close. The, the, something could happen very soon here with the between the Aston Martin and the Audi. Rod Savage just sort of uh, saying, look, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that's in first place here. And look at the gap there. There's not much between these two cars. Good power down on the exit from both cars as they go through the left right and head down into the tight left hander. And to Rod Savage. Whoa, Rod Savage did have a fairly well cover, but there was a little bit of a gap. And hello, there's an Audi right there. I'm not sure either. Well, I don't know how he did it, and I'm pretty sure Rod's sitting there going, How did he get that car in there? And we now look at uh, Rod Savage who's clambering all over the back of that Audi. He wants that second spot back. He doesn't want to let that car get too far away from him. Mind you, the, uh, the race leader... Oh, big lock-up there from Matt Cooper and the Audi. I reckon Rod Savage was licking his lips going, I can, I can sniff that second place again. So head down towards the back one more time. The final hairpin. And Matt Cooper just... Oh, he's weaving all over the track and Rod gives him a touch-up for good measure. Says, mate, if you're going to take some funny lines, I'm going to give you a nice little bam and I'm going to take back that second place. down with the final hairpin one more time. Rod's got a good line through there and a pretty good exit. But that Audi seems to be a little bit better on the traction. So head down to the their back straight one more time into the final turn. A, bit of a little bit of a locked break there from the inside right on the Audi. And here's our race leader. It's Grant Morrison on his final lap. He's had pretty much everything he'd go his own way. It, uh, he cleared out on the first lap and then he's just been steadily building the gap ever since. And a uh, very trouble-free run as he heads across the, the start-finish line to take out round seven of the Blancpain Sprint Series. And second place will be one of these two cars as they head down towards the line. And it looks like it could be uh, Matt Cooper at the moment, but Rod Savage still hasn't let him get too far away. They're heading to the final turn. It'll be power down and all the way to the finish line. And it is Matt Cooper who takes that second place. Rod Savage in third. 
And now we just pan back to the final placings, and it is still Benj Lundgren holding down that fourth place. But Doug Savage is still there. He hasn't let him get too far away. And it looks like uh, Benj got a bit of a slow exit there, and Doug's gone into the grass to go <laughs> around the outside, and he's grabbed the fourth place right at the final death knock. Fantastic driving between these two. There's a head out from the final turn to go across the line side by side. Doug Savage takes fourth place ahead of Benj Lundgren in fifth. And now it's the points after round seven. Rod Savage on 115, Matt Cooper 10 back on 105, and Travis Fox in third on 90, with Grant Morrison one point behind and Doug Savage in fifth. www.osteamracing.com will contain all the information about the series we're running.